All right, guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the FPS Multiplayer Template 3. I got this probably a month after it came out, and I can't give you the price on it because I have it in my launcher, so one second. I'll bring it up in the web browser. So it's $199 now, which is quite a price hike from when I first got it. It's I think it's more than double. So what I'm going to do, I have a blank project that I opened here and click play. And actually it may be better if I use the build out project to show you guys this because my performance in Unreal 5 is not fair for this template. So if I write the performance inside the template, I'm going to probably give it a 2. So I'm going to keep it fair. I built out a copy of this and that's what I'm going to use to showcase it to you guys. So I'm going to open this up. So same thing, here's what you get. Uh, it's really nice, you get a weapon loadout system which is really cool. Uh, we got a new MP5 in here, there's a lot of new animations, so you can add sights on there, you can add on all kinds of things. I guess it would be better if I show, show you the sniper. So, so the AK and the snipers, well that's not a sniper, but so you can add on like an ACOG sight, sniper scope, you can add on silencers. So yeah, you can customize your guns, which is a really nice feature, and I think a lot of other assets are lacking that. You can also make your own game modes, which is cool. This new one has uh, asymmetrical, I think it is as well, which is cool. So if I create a match, there's there's asymmetrical, the conquest, the plant and diffuse bomb is new. That wasn't there when I first got this template. And I this is brand new too. That wasn't there when I first bought this. So I'm going to go to free-for-all. You can customize all your stuff there. I think there's only one map. There are others oh, a dev level, but I'm going to go with a big map. I'm going to go to free for all, and we'll take it from there. We'll stack this up. I'm going to see what my FPS are. So performance-wise, this looks pretty good. It feels good. It feels smooth. Scope feels nice. Lots of recoil. So I played with this today because I had kind of shelved this when I first got it and I didn't think it was good at the time, but this has gotten a lot better. They added a new sliding feature in too, which is cool. That looks really good in first person. Third person, I'm not a big fan of these animations at all. I don't really like the animations. Let's take a look. I'm gonna try sliding. I don't really like the way that looks in third person. That's just my personal preference. No, I, I really don't like that. I'm gonna go back to first person. This feels really smooth in first person though. Third person not so much. The bots feel pretty good but they're standard bots. <clears throat> Another thing I'm noticing too with this template is, well, the reload animation is completely glitchy. That's another thing. But when you fire, when, when you go aim down the sights and you fire, there's like a delay there. It's like it doesn't respond. It's kind of choppy. Uh, it's hard for me to explain. You'd almost have to feel it in a demo. So maybe download a demo project. But you'll see what I mean. Like from the point that I put the aimed in sights, there's like a millisecond delay. You can almost hear it maybe with my mouse click. It's cool, the bots can slide too. The double reload is another thing. That kind of makes you. I don't know, the controls feel kind of clunky. They feel really clunky, the controls. So but overall smooth. So I'm going to rate this on performance, value, features, and support. So I think I've seen enough to kind of give you guys a look into this on what I think how to rate this. So I'm going to go back to the menu for a second here. So for the performance, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. There's any dips in the FPS there. It's probably strictly my computer. I ran this in the editor. It seems okay. It's kind of choppy at times, but that's just me. Uh, I'm recording right now, so I can't really 
take any points away for that. I'm even going to give it a 5 out of 5 on performance. There's a lot of bots in there too. Free for all, I think they load it with 16 to 20 bots. So that's not bad at all. So 5 out of 5 on performance. Uh, features, you're getting a 5 out of 5 on that. This has probably the most features in any FPS template. You can slide, you have a mini map, you have a game creator, a weapon loadout system. There's a, a ton of stuff in here. Uh, the value for the money. This may, maybe you guys will agree, maybe you won't, but I think, I purchased this, it was like half the price it is now, and it looks to me like the only thing they put into it was, well, they put a lot of work into it, but they, I would say, this is a personal thought, is they amped all this money into animations, and they're not that good. So, I, I think you're going to swap out the animations anyway. If this was my project, first thing I'm doing is getting rid of these animations. The guns look okay, but the animations are not good. So, I think they wasted their money on that. So, the value, I'm giving it a 2.5. Yeah, I would say around a 2.5 out of 5 for the value. I think this is overpriced for a premium asset. It's marketed as a premium asset, and it's not quite there. So, just my personal opinion. Uh, the support. On the Discord, there's not much going on. It's kind of... It's kind of just there. It's, the support is there, but it's just there's not. It's not very active. So I'm gonna give it a three out of five for the support. So that's just my personal opinion. And at the end of this video, we're gonna be putting this against some of the other stuff, and I'll give you my thoughts on it, on what I think, because I played with both of them. But overall, I'm gonna give this a generous four out of five stars. That's being generous because I don't think for the price you're getting the the money or the money's worth I guess I mean if you were gonna it depends on what kind of game you're gonna make if you're gonna make a, a quake style game or maybe a, a an unreal tournament game this may be the one but it just doesn't feel smooth enough to me I don't know it's just my opinion you guys can let me know what you think but out of the box the menus look better than anything the features are there but it, it just doesn't feel smooth I mean, the, the performance is fine, but the it just feels janky. Uh, the other thing we're going to talk about now, so this is a 4 out of 5, is this is requested that I give my personal opinion, and I'm going to let you guys know what I think, is to see how this template fares against the FPS template version 4.1. This is, uh, a lot of people are asking me this one. So this is... The template we're reviewing now and this is the competition it is FPS multiplayer template 4.0 and I think at the price point for this one here it's fantastic you're getting all you guys can look at the other review but you're getting a lot of bang for your buck with this one too you're not getting the nice slide feature of the mini map or the weapon customization to the degree that the other template has but you're definitely getting the better deal for your money. This one here comes in at a little bit more than double the price and it does a lot more but I think they wasted money on animations and just keep in mind this was less than the cost of the other template when it first came out. So in my opinion if you pick this up on sale for 50% off you may be doing okay. But if I had to choose between the two, not owning either one, I would probably go with this one. Just because the support is there, they're usually back to you within two hours. And the price point is it's on point. I, I don't know. This one should almost be a higher price right now with how much this one, in my opinion, is kind of gouging. I don't know, maybe... Maybe not, but that's my personal opinion. If you if you have the budget and you want all the features of sliding and mini map, if you get this on sale, by all means pick this one. But if you had to buy one that's not on sale, you're just getting started in Unreal, and you want to make a game like Call of Duty or something, I think this is your answer. But I mean it's it's a personal preference. Play both demos, but if in my opinion this is the one to have still. I hate to say that because I love this template and what it's become, but that's just my opinion. I think you're better off with the lather. 
Uh, I hope this helped you guys out making a decision. As always, make your own choice. Take a look at both. This is just a personal opinion, but uh, have a great one, and I think uh, you'll probably find the same thing.